Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. Wish you all a very happy new year 2023. Today we are going to talk about how to create and configure a web application firewall. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates. As we know, we are going to create and configure a web application firewall. Things that we're going to create under this lab is create a application load balancer, create a web application firewall, WAF for short, and test configuration of web application firewall. It's lab time. Before we start, let's review the infrastructure that we are going to have. The two public subnets on this particular drawing shows there are a couple of EC2 instances. We are going to create an application load balancer and then register these EC2 instance in each subnet with the application load balancer. Once we are done with that, we are going to create a web application firewall. We're going to create two kind of rules. One is going to be a managed rule. The second one is going to be a custom rule. Once we are done with that, we are going to test a specific IP address. We are going to test it from the browser as well as from our own IP address to see the web application firewall is working as expected, just to secure the traffic coming to these EC2 instances. Let's begin. I've logged into AWS console. Before we start building ALB, we should look into the EC2 instances. I'll click on EC2. You can also search EC2. There are two instances running. Public 1 and Public 2. So let's go and search for Node Balancer. I'll click on the features and then create load balancer. We are going to create an application load balancer. There are three ways you can have a WAF services that allow you to consume or have a WAF in front of it. One is CloudFront distribution, one is API gateway, and the last one is a load balancer. Now, in our case, we are already making an application load balancer, and then we're going to create a web application firewall. So let's create a load balancer over here. I chose an application load balancer. I will give it a name ALB1, maybe. It's going to be internet facing, IPv4, the VPC. I will select my VPC. It will show all the availability zones. I'll choose one A and one B. And then I don't have a target group. So I'm gonna create a target group. This target group will target an instance type. And I'll just give TG1. Looks good. I'll go and say next. We have these two instances. I will choose both instances at port 80 and include as pending below. So you have these two instances as part of a target group. I'll say create target. You can see there is no load balancer associated. I'll go back to the main load balancer screen and do a refresh. It shows my target group one. Rest look good. I'll just create a load balancer. Now you can see it is saying provisioning. It will take some time. I'll pause the video and we'll continue once the provisioning is done. Now I have got the status as active. So once we are done with this ALB, let's start looking at the web application firewall. I'll click on WAF and shield. In order to create a web application firewall, I am going to create an IP set first. 
and I can just give it a name, set one. And you can find your IP. This is my IP. You can find it by going to what is my IP. And you can basically look at your IP address. So that's what my IP is. And because this is required in a CIDR format, I am putting slash 32 so that only my IP is allowed. So we got one IP set. Now I'm going to create a web ACL to start building our rules. Create web ACL. I can give it a name my web ACL. Regional resource, we are not going to associate any load balancer or any other resource right now. And over here, we're going to create a managed rule, AWS managed rule. We're going to use the free rule group. We're going to select Amazon IP reputation list, which is going to block all the bots and other threads. Go down and add this rule we're going to create another rule from our own rule group it's going to be rule builder this is rule one and matches the statement originates from an ip address and we have an ip set the one we created just now source ip address we want to allow this and add this rule so we have two rules one is managed one is custom apart from that we will block any other request coming in click on the next next and we don't want to have any sample request I'll create a web ACL. It takes some time to hydrate this web ACL. And once it is done, then we are going to associate our application load balancer with this, which will take around five to 10 minutes. So I'll just pause and we'll come back in like five, 10 minutes. Okay, it has been a few minutes. Let me check. I'll go into web ACL in we're going to now associate an AWS resource. Add AWS resource. This is an application load balancer. We have an application load balancer, ALB1. I'm going to add that. Now, with our RAF in place, two rules in place one managed, one custom, and an associated AWS application load balancer. With this WAF, we are now enabled to test our WAF. So in order to test, what we can do is we can go to the application load balancer. Let me search for that. And go to the features of EC2 and then go to the ALB. We have this DNS name. I'll copy the DNS name and go to URL, another browser tab, and just click on the DNS. Trying to load the DNS. Okay, after a little bit of hiccups, I was able to run this. You can see a WAF test. The thing that was missing was when I was creating an application load balancer, I actually missed on adding a security group. So the security group, I just added a default one, but then there was an enabling of SSH access and other uh, additional rules that were provided by the second security group was uh, something that I didn't added. And if you look at the security group, the access under the security group will be shown. Even though the ALB was public in nature, there were inbound rules uh, for port 22 for SSH access and 
for port 80 and 4434 HTTP and HTTPS access as well as the outbound rules um, for all this was missing and which was not allowing me to open this DNS publicly because this is a public access URL and once I have the WAF test basically what we can do is we can go to WAF and remove the IP uh, the default IP address that we have so I'll go in in my IP set set one the one that we have added and delete this IP and you remember that we said anything apart from the rule will be blocked so if I delete that IP address and this IP address is part of the WAF that we created so you can see um, under the rules we have the manage rule and the rule one and rule one has set one which is IP set that we were using over here if I refresh this it will give me a for button error if I go back go to the IP set set one and add my IP again let me copy my IP address I will add my IP with CIDR format slash 32 once this IP is allowed it will take some time to refresh okay you can see WAF test again so that concludes our lab hopefully this was helpful and please let me know if there are some comments or questions I'll try to answer them this is the end of this lab Please share your comments and suggestions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell icon for future updates. This is your host, Pavesh Kumar, signing off. Thank you.